Okay, we're gonna add a robots.txt file to the root folder of our website. And this uh, file will contain code that will instruct the SEO um, bots or other bots not to crawl certain pages on our website. And it can also instruct them to crawl certain pages on our website or certain content on our website. All right, and this is important. All right, because take take for example, you have an e-commerce website, right? And you're selling stuff on the site, and then you um, have a thank you page on that site. And the purpose of the thank you page is that whenever a purchase is completed, the thank you page pops up, right, to confirm to the customer, uh, the buyer, that hey, we've received your payment. You know, thank you for your payment, right? You don't want anybody else to see that thank you page, okay? You don't want somebody who's just checking your product out or someone who is adding to cart uh, and, you know, maybe walking away. We don't want any of those to see the thank you page. Only those who cross that purchase threshold, those who finish the purchase are the only ones who should see the thank you page, okay? now. If we allow the bots to crawl our thank you page, then it's a possibility that somebody somewhere online typing some keywords somewhere, doing some research, doing something online, could likely stumble upon that thank you page. Okay, that's a very good chance. So if that person who sees that thank you page is corrupt, you know, unscrupulous person, they can contact you and say, hey, I bought something on your site for about $200. I haven't received the item. Here is evidence. You know, maybe you might ask them, hey, do you have a receipt or something? Oh, well, here is the evidence. I saw this thank you page after I bought the, the you know, they probably, you know, they, they are scamming you right there, you know. So you don't want to them to have to give you this headache of going to try to investigate what happened why you know calling your your hosting provider or whoever or your developer why did this happen you know you want to avoid all of that you understand what i mean so um this is where a robots.txt file uh can be helpful all right and let's say you also have um uh, PDF files you're selling, right? Maybe some ebooks or something like that. You don't want anybody else to access those files or PDF files or ebooks except those who actually made payment and you know um, are ready to download the files, right? So let's see how we can add a robots.txt file to the root uh, folder of our website. Uh, the first thing I would want to do here is log into my cPanel. Okay, I'm I'm with Namecheap here. I use Namecheap for some of my stuff. So uh, if you have Namecheap, you should be seeing something similar to this. Um, but if you have other hosting providers, um, maybe the user interface might be different, but the process is pretty much the same. Just look for your cPanel. All right. So when I go over here. I look for the domain or uh, the hosting you know where I want to upload my stuff just make sure you look over there pick the one that is right for you and then just go ahead and click manage all right and then it's gonna bring us somewhere over here uh, and then you just look for where it says I'm using the shortcuts right where so cPanel shortcuts so I see here where it says file manager okay if not you could just go to the CPA but I'm just gonna go to file manager so it takes me straight to where I need to go all right and it brings me right here okay so I want to be in the public underscore HTML place and it brings me right here so this is where I want to drop that robots.txt file now you can create the file in here okay by just clicking this plus file over here and just put the code you want in the file or you can have the file created on your desktop and upload it in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and create the, the file. I'm just gonna go here. I right click over here anywhere on my desktop and then I go to new and then I click text document, all right? 
please do not use word document always use a text document okay so i'm gonna name this robots.txt okay all right and then i'm gonna go ahead and open it up and inside of it i'm gonna put some code that will instruct the um the uh the box that is coming to scan you know or crawl my website okay so i'm gonna say user let's say we want to just for demo reasons we want to write some code to instruct the google bots okay so we're gonna add something like user agent um google google bot all right and i'm gonna say let's say i don't want them to uh I don't want them to crawl my thank you page okay so i'm just gonna say assuming i have a thank you page right i don't have one on the, my demo site now but just for demo reasons let's say we have a thank you page so we're gonna say uh, i don't want you crawling my thank you page so this one is sort of like um the you know this is like the extension link to your main uh to the main link right so it's gonna say like your website forward slash thank you right it's what will send people to the thank you page so we don't have to put the whole domain name over here we just put in the extension of the link all right so uh let's say i have some pdf files on a certain page and i don't want the uh the box to crawl those that page so i'm gonna say let's assume I have, i'm just gonna put something in the pdf uh, content something like that right PDF content something like that all right so when the bot comes in it knows not to crawl my thank you page it knows not to crawl the page where I have my PDF content all right and let's say I'm gonna put my site map okay so I'm gonna put my site map uh, HTTPS uh, and I'm gonna say HTTPS forward slash um, forward slash uh, let's say test your demo test your demo site dot com uh, now because I don't I don't have a, a site map on my site uh, my on my demo site but usually a site map will look something similar to this okay maybe it could be a XML something like this all right this is how a typical sitemap link will look like but i don't have one on my website right now but i'm just gonna leave it like this just for demo reasons all right just for demo reasons okay so here this code is gonna ensure like i said it will avoid your thank you page and it will avoid the page that has the, your pdf content okay you can add some more rules if you want to all right so for example uh, let's say I want to add another rule that say um, uh, user agent oops okay, user agent uh, and let's say I don't want maybe Google's uh, ads bot to crawl my site so I could say disallow right I could say something like disallow okay so this one is saying that google's ad box cannot crawl my website you see right there so let's say um let's say there's a specific image on my site that i do not want the google bot to crawl so let's say i i'm gonna add another one that says google bot um image google bot image then I'm gonna say disallow okay and then I'm going to um, add the extension that will locate where the image is so let's say let's say private maybe the, I want to keep that image private something like that okay so like this all right so it's telling google don't crawl the specific image all right that way that image will not be available online right okay so you can add different rules to this if let's say you do not want um any agent 
um, to crawl your website if you just want to block all bots you can say something like user agent all right and then you can have an asterisk right there and then you can say um, something like disallow right there disallow okay so this one is gonna tell uh, any bot that tries to uh, you know crawl your website they cannot do it okay so the asteroid is indicating that this applies to all uh, you know bots all right that they can't crawl your website okay so make sure you know what rules you want to apply don't add confusing stuff over here right just make sure you know what rule you want choose the rule you want also try not to have more than one robots.txt file like if you do that you could cause confusion for the bots and they don't like that okay so um yeah one one is enough you have a lot of space to add whatever rules you want to add add to it all right so after we have this now we want to save this let me go ahead and uh i have it saved in here on my desktop let me see okay good so it's saved now on my desktop all right so i'm gonna go over here and i'm gonna upload it so i'm gonna click right here upload and i'm gonna do that and then look for the uh where is my txt file robot is right over here okay and i'm gonna drop it in the root folder it says 100 percent complete so I'm going to put it right here and there it is. Now, just be careful. You don't want it to say .txt, .txt okay? Because if you do that, it could cause some problems. So make sure it's only one txt, okay? Whoops, let me correct that here. Okay, hold on. Let me just rename this .txt and rename okay good so it's a robots.txt okay so we now want to confirm to make sure that this file is active all right so to do that uh we could just go to our website and just add forward slash um, robots.txt okay i see it over here robots.txt okay so i'm gonna hit enter and as you can see right here the code we added is showing over here okay so whenever you see this when you see your your instructions or the code you added here it means that the file is ready to enforce the instructions you gave to that um, to the to the bots all right so this is a good indicator that the file is in, in it's working well okay so um i hope uh you found this video helpful um let me know in the comment area if you have um other ideas as to how to optimize uh you know your website using code so that your website will be seo friendly thank you guys for uh, watching this video i'll see you guys in the next video all right take care and have a wonderful day bye